Well, good morning, Steve. We'll just take a moment here and review the lesson we had the other day. When we take a look at the golf swing here, what we're initially seeing is, you know, good setup, good posture, like what we've seen, like what we've seen in the past and what we've been working on. One of the things I did notice, though, as you go to take the club back, what I'd probably like to see is maybe a little more rotation with this left hand. Your left hand, left forearm. And what I mean by that is as you take the club up, you can see at this position, you can see the face being a little closed in this case. So then as you take it up to the top of the golf swing, the face is not exactly where we could be. It's slightly close at the top. So by being slightly close at the top, what happens is you go to bring the club back down, we can see them shots over to the left or a little pulls to the left as well. Now, what this initial lesson involved, you know, our main concept of this whole lesson was a review almost in a sense of lessons past. Now, what I mean by review of a lesson's past is right here. It's this position of getting the club as it comes back down and through impact to being able to retain this position here with the hands. So then as you transfer the weight down and through, that's the position we want to see right here. And by this, we see just a little forward momentum of that club face or not, not necessarily the club face, but of the shaft forward bending right here as we push down and as we come through. So I think it's almost that, that slight transition down and through that we feel that position down and we hold on to that right hand arm and finish more down the line. You know, when I say finish down the line or vice versa, that, that position of feeling the club release at the target. And when I say release at the target, this is what I mean. You see how the club is finishing around your body, so as you finish, the hands are dramatically way over here to the left. Now, by it being dramatically way over here to the left, what we sometimes see is that shot going a little left, maybe that cause of that early release, but not that full extension that we'd like to see is if the club came through here, through impact, and then we finished up and around. Now, right here is where you can kind of see it's right here, and you almost see how the hands are predetermined to go here to the left, right through here. So with the whole thought, when I laid down this little contraption here in front of you, my whole thought was by having this, this little line down here a little further out would force you to feel that little wrist tinge, keep that wrist tinge, but consequently feeling that release down in, at the target line. And see what you can see here is right here when we do this. You can see here, bam. And obviously, like we said, you get, you got to get that rotation with that left hand here. Hands come down. This is better because when you look here, you can see a dramatic of that right shoulder turning underneath and going across and around. A little bit better here, especially when we when we compare to where we are here on the left hand side. You know, so and that's all we really worked on was turning out and at the target. You know, and when I say turning out, I mean we come turn in and the hands and the club finish down the line towards the target. And when we say down the line it's here. That position out here towards the target. Bam, 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 bam. And you know it's like I got that T there. Got the T down the line. Now that one there, the ball went a little right. Ideally, that's what we're wanting to see is down the target line. So when you practice, obviously you won't have that drill. What I gave you was this little, that little pull out here. You can kind of see it's kind of parallel to what your setup is here. And all I wanted you to do with the tee is get the club going down. There we go. That's the position. Look at the difference in these two, two set, setups. The shoulders are turning down. The right arm is almost feeling like it's reaching through and shaking my hand on the left hand side. But ideally, the shoulders are turning down and to the target, not across. Now, when we see this, that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking for that, that direction to, to turn at the target, getting the club going down the line. So we're here, down, and through. So much better. This is a great transition down and through, Steve. That looks so good. Right here, the club just stays out in front of you the whole time. Shoulders come down, shoulders turn through, and that's all we want to see. And you can almost see how the hands right here. Look at that transition here compared to here. Big difference. 
And what I mean that transition is right here. Look at the shoulder here. Look at the club right here. Okay. Look at that arrow right there. Look at the shoulders. And you can kind of see the shoulders right here as an example, 48 degrees. All right, let's see if we can get that here. Uh, that's not what we wanted. Well, that's not what we wanted either. All right, so like we thought, 49 degrees compared to 37 degrees. You know, big difference. Big difference. Yeah, the whole thing is the shoulders are rotating around that spine down and through that target. And what you can see right here is right there. Look almost same angle here, same angle here. And that's what we want to see. All right, so this can be very easily done at the house. This can be done at the range. But just laying down two things create a path. But then what I want is especially that one that lines up with your setup initially where we see right there. Okay. Nice, easy swing, feeling that position back and forth, and then consequently turning down at the target. That's all I want you to feel. Now, if you have any questions, see by all means, I want you to give me a call. 314-724-6539. All right? Or shoot me an email, michaelwyackgolf at gmail.com, or shoot me a text either way. All right, Steve, look forward to talking to you again. We'll see you later.